This is my third project for the October 10th post on my blog, and it is a home decor frame featuring some stamping from Paper Tray Ink, the Gobble Gobble stamp set, plus die, uh, the coordinating die, and also a stamp from Stampin' Up! and a background stamp from Hero Arts. So the first thing I did was I die cut the turkey from some um, just white smooth cardstock, and I'm stamping the turkey design on the turkey's body with some soft suede ink. Make sure I get it pressed good. And then I'm not going to use the feathers part for this particular design, at least not out of the paper. So I'm going to ink up several squares of paper that I've cut from the fine linen cardstock from Paper Tray Ink with this large plaid stamp from Hero Arts. And what I did first, it didn't stamp correctly. It didn't stamp even when I stamped it the regular way. So now I'm pressing my paper onto the stamp to make sure I get a straight cut. Then I stamped this greeting from the Gobble Gobble stamp set by Paper Tray Ink on some white cardstock. And I ended up switching that later and using the fine linen cardstock, but for demonstration purposes, this is exactly how I did it. I stamped that with some soft suede ink, and then I'm adding a leaf stamp from that same set using the Crushed Curry ink from Stampin' Up! and Riding Hood Red for the little leaf outline. And I punched it with an EK Success punch. Now I'm going to use the Big Shot to not only die cut the turkey, but also a leaf, uh, a, the smallest leaf here, for my frame. And I just laid my dies on the, I put the cutting platform, one of the cutting mats, then my dies, then the felt, and then another cutting mat and just roll it through your machine like normal and you can see that it die cuts through the paper tray ink felt perfectly. So I've die cut a whole bunch of leaves and then I die cut the little tail feathers for the turkey and then I cut little pieces from some of the turkey feathers to piece it together on, on just one of them so that you can have a multi-colored tail. Just figuring out how the best those little feathers back there and then I'm just gonna adhere him together and I added a little bit of twine around the turkey's neck colored in his beak with a Copic marker and added a heart brad just for a fun touch so there you can see all the frames laid out and they go into a long white frame I've had this frame for a long time add some foam dots and the stamp, there's the stamp I used for this label but I used some foam dots to adhere them in there because I kind of did a tone on tone look but I still wanted it to have a little bit of dimension. But back to this frame, these little uh, frames within the frame used to be shades of green and I didn't particularly care for them for this design so I just took a can of spray paint and spray, spray painted them a kind of metallic pewter color. It's really kind of a, a nice neutral. And there's what that one looks like and I'm just kind of gathering the leaves or scattering them about just for a fun touch. Once I have all of the embellishments in the frames then I'm ready to put the design together and you can see it oh, in places the paper is overhanging just a little bit so I trimmed up some of the backgrounds and I'm just using a couple of glue dots on the back of the frame to hold each of these pieces in place it's easy to remove if I change my mind or I don't want to have that out anymore um, without ruining the frame or the design. And there is the complete frame. For more information, please visit my blog at www.nicolemagork.typepad.com on October 10th, 2010. Thanks for watching.